Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Sorry if you are seeing this look twice, but I like to record multiple videos um, in one, in one day, so to speak. But I do have a uh, makeup tutorial on this look because I know you guys are going to ask, but I do have a tutorial on this. I don't know if this is going to come out first or that's going to come out first. Whichever comes out first, I'll have it linked um, up here in the cards. But today I wanted to do kind of like a haul, kind of like a Black Friday haul. It's really between Black Friday and the second week of December type of haul. Um, a lot of stuff I did order um, between Black Friday and Cyber Monday and then a couple other um, new launches came out a little after um, those kind of like hot dates. Um, so I'm going to do a haul on that stuff. It's It looks like a lot of stuff in my little bin right here. Like, I'm going to show you guys. Have it all in. It, it looks like a lot, but I feel like it's not that much. But um, I'm just gonna hop right into it because there are a few items that I do want to get to. Um, so I'm just gonna start. So the first thing I'm gonna share with you guys, I actually bought this. This was um, before Black Friday, but I did buy it between like the past month, um, and it was like a new release. It is the Morphe and James. Charles collab palette. I did pick this up. I was kind of low-key excited about this. I don't know. I just haven't seen a palette with neutrals and bright colors in a while. Um, besides like a few of my like fades, but this palette was really, really big. These are all the shades. Um, I actually used it to create this look. I will say one thing. I don't know if you guys spotted it, but like this sh shadow, I think, it, what is it called? The canvas? Canvas, this first one, it arrived cracked. So I don't know if you guys can tell. I had to like repress it. Um, I was gonna send it back, um, which I could have, but then I would have had to wait, wait for it to be restocked, and I was just like, whatever. I repressed it and <clears throat> whatever. So that's that. I got that. I also got the his collab with his brushes. It comes with like the big tubby um, things. Um, honestly, I haven't. I do not as as big as my brush collection is. I do not have any brushes from Morphe at all. Um, and when he came out with this set, this is probably the first set from Morphe that I saw that I was like, you know, I'm I'm gonna try it now because he a lot of the eyeshadow brushes are like duplicates. Like you get like two to three of them, um, which is kind of what I like. Um, I liked about this set I was just like oh that's dope it makes sense a lot of other companies should do this so um, so I picked up that brush set and I did use it on this look as well so if you guys want to see these in action check out that video um, let me know if you guys want me to do a review on this palette and or the brush set um, I'll definitely do that for you guys but um, yes yeah, so I picked that up because I was like excited about like this like yeah Next, I'm going to go into uh, a couple things that you guys have seen me use on my channel. I actually got a new set from Moisture Love, pretty much everything. I got the Deep Indulgence, the Seal with the Kiss. Like, I go through this stuff like water. Like, this stuff I go through very fast because I use it in between wash days as well. I picked up, I have the Now and Never Leave-In <clears throat> Leave Serum that I picked up and the Gentle Embrace Shampoo from Moisture Love. And of course, my absolute favorite from Moisture Love is the Kindred Spirits Styling Cream. I've done numerous videos on these products, so I will have that linked in the cards, also down in the description box if you guys wanna check them out, as well as the coupon code for you guys to save some money. But I love this line, and I, I just, this always, always, always needs to be in stock. I use it on my hair. I use it on my daughter's hair. So I love this stuff. It's, it's, it's like holy grail for me. Like holy grail for me. Um, you got, you guys know. I've been talking about it for like over a year, maybe even longer than that. Um, next up is something really basic. Not basic, but um, I picked up some more beauty blenders. I picked up the nude shade. I didn't know they had nude ones. But I picked these up because I was running low. I usually keep um, like three or four on hand and I was like down to one. Um, so I picked up another um, pack. This is a pack of six plus it has like the cleaner on the bottom as well. Um, and I just, I like to have a lot of these. So I usually order these off of a, um, a makeup artist site that I always order from and we get like discounts for being a makeup artist and stuff. So like for this, for like 
the six beauty blenders and the cleaner I think I paid like $57 and I got this during Black Friday I think or Cyber Monday one of them um, so I got it for like $57 for the whole set which is where I always buy my beauty beauty blenders from I've never paid $20 for a beauty blender ever like since it came out because I just refuse plus I mean I get a pro makeup artist to sound like I'm gonna take advantage next up um oh I bought some stuff from Colourpop which I haven't ordered from Colourpop since the Ellery launch uh, Ellery collab launch and I picked up another collab which I'm gonna be honest I don't even watch this person's channel but the eyeshadows in the palette looked dope um so I picked up these these are the Bretman Rock and Colourpop um his collab with Colourpop so I picked up the it's the wet and the lip palette um, I'll open it and just show you guys the colors usually when I get like palettes I always open them the same day just to make sure none are broken I love the packaging it's so cute um, so this is the lip one this was the one that caught my eye initially I was like oh those are pretty colors um, so then these are the shades they come with um, eight shades in each. Um, I love this one. It's super, super pretty. I can't wait to try it. Um, <clears throat> try it out on my channel. And the packaging is super dope. I love his pictures on the front of the, um, the box. I love the pictures. It's super pretty. Um, so I picked that up. And then I picked up the wet palette. And then I'll show you guys that one as well. I actually like the pictures on this one too. Um, these are kind of more like cool tone shades um and honestly probably i don't know i would wear these um so these are kind of more blues and kind of more cool tone kind of shades um so i can't wait to try this out as well um let me guys let me know if you want me to see do some makeup looks using these on my channel yeah i mean i know most of you are probably going to say yeah but you know um, I'm not going to do the whole swatch thing like y'all can go watch somebody else for swatches because I, I like literally hate doing swatches um, unless I don't mind doing them if I'm doing a dedicated video for that but when I'm doing like a haul I hate swatching it because then the video turns out really really long. Um, then I picked up a couple of some lipsticks and liquid lipsticks from them. I picked up actually two liquid lipsticks. This is one is the ultra matte. This one is in the shade Star Crust. I believe this is part of a collection. I don't know which one, but I think it's part of a collection. But it's like a really cute, um, like, red shade. I love, you guys know I love red lipsticks. So I have, like, many different tones of red lips. Um, but this one caught my eye. <clears throat> but this one caught my eye on the site. Um, so that one's Star Cross. Then I picked up, this was another collab. I don't know who this person is. Um, I love Sarah too. It's another, like, I don't watch everybody on YouTube, but, like, if you got a collab and I like the color, then I might get it. This color is called Softy. I was kind of interested in this shade, um, because it kind of reminded me of Tool. Let me see. So that's the one I have on. Um, they actually look pretty similar. Uh. Alright, so the top one is Tool and the, the bottom one is Softy. Um, that's the newer one. They kind of look pretty similar though. Um, and Tool is like one of my favorite like matte nude lips. So um, I picked it up because I figured it would be another kind of neutral lip that I can wear. And then I picked up a lippy stick, which I haven't bought a lippy stick in a while. And this one is uh, called Infinite Best. And this might have been part of a collab too. I don't know. I'm just going by the packaging. It might have been a collab. Um, and the shade looks like that. Okay, see? There it goes. So the shade looks like that. <clears throat> Another red tone lip, you know. Love my red lips. So that's what I... Is that all I picked up from ColourPop? Yeah, that's all I picked up from ColourPop. Um... I do want to get to my Juvia's Place stuff, but I had ordered a lot of stuff from them, so I'll get to that in a second. Um, so then I ordered some of the matte lip whips from Beauty Bakery. I ordered three of them. Um, I have a whole video on a review of my Beauty Bakery stuff. I don't know if it's out yet, but I do have one um, <clears throat> on like the face products. Um, and once I did that video, I definitely wanted to try out some of their lip whips. Um, let me try and open them. This first one, I love the packaging, it's cute. Um, 
I don't keep the box though I just throw them out um, this one is rad raspberry tiramisu I'm just gonna rip the box because I know I'm not gonna keep it um, and it looks like that I'll probably insert the picture from the website like so you can see the color because I'm not I'm not swatching so they're just gonna be way too long I love the packaging I love kind of how like it's kind of like you guys can see I mean you guys seen Beauty Bakery before it's like all swirly um, so I got that one it was kind of like a deep raspberry kind of color I guess um, this one is chocolate for breakfast which is obviously like a chocolate color I don't have a lot of chocolate um, color I think I have like two other ones um, so I wanted another one that was you know from a different company and probably a little different turn tone this is one that I was actually kind of excited for I actually could have wore it today but I didn't want to be too matchy matchy um, this one is she's just jelly which is kind of like this you know great jelly kind of color um, yeah, so those were the three that I got from Beauty Bakery. So I can't wait to try those. I will definitely be using those in some upcoming videos. You guys know I love, like, liquid lipstick, so those are my thing. Um, I guess I did oh, I picked up a couple of foundations. Um, so I used the, I picked up, you guys seen me use this foundation in a video before. It was in my... The last purple I look I'll put it somewhere here and I used the covergirl true matte made foundation but the shade I had in that video was d40 and I felt like it was a little too like not my shade I don't know how to call it but I picked up d50 because I actually saw it in Walmart I, it took me a long time to find the shade um, so I picked that up hopefully it matches me a little bit better I also picked up another bottle of the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless foundation but I picked up this shade 356 which is the warm coconut it's I guess when they like added more shades this was one of them because right now I mix 355 and 360 I think it's, I think I mix coconut and mocha um, to get my shade so I'm hoping like a happy medium where I don't have to mix um, so I picked that up as well I also picked up this foundation I've been dying to try because of a YouTuber named um, Esther. I'll link her channel somewhere down in the description box and she like talks about it all the time and raves about it. Um, and then like other people that really like don't like it but then like when I see it on her I think it looks beautiful. Um, so I pick, picked it up. It is I picked these up on Black Friday. I think I paid, I don't remember how much I paid but they were on sale like obviously but um, I picked up the Milani conceal imperfect two-on-one foundation and concealer I picked up two shades mainly because it was on sale so I was I was like okay I'll, I'll try it out um, I picked up the shade chestnut and I picked up the shade toasted almond um, so all right so usually when I go to color to color match I easily go there is Esther um, Andre Renee and Jackie Ina that I usually kind of gauge my colors off of um, Andre Renee and Esther used chestnut and Jackie Ina in her video I think she used spiced almond so then I was like oh then it threw me off because I'm just like okay they all usually are around the same shade range ish you know you know one might be up like those are kind of like my gauges when I'm shopping but um, so I picked up both um, so I'll test them out I'm pretty sure one's gonna work in the winter and summer or like you know one is kind of like workable so I'm gonna try these I may do a first impression using these soon. Um, so be on the lookout for those um, that way you can see me swatch it and things like that so I picked those up and then lastly I'll get to my Juvia's Play things because I ordered a ton of stuff they dropped their tri palette they also I picked up some of their liquid lipsticks that have been out for a while I just haven't had a chance to pick them up but when Black Friday came and they were really on sale I picked those up um, so I picked up four of their liquid lipsticks they come with two it comes with a matte and a metallic which I don't have any metallic lipsticks I don't think but I picked um, four different shades up and then I also picked up um, the tribe collection they came out with a come on folks they came out with a palette and three pressed highlighters I think I said in my last Juvia's when I did the, the highlighters I said I wasn't going to like buy none but then these these were pretty so I did pick them up I said, I said those four that they came out with were like uh, I think I said like they they don't need no more 
but they came out with pressed ones so I was like well that's kind of different but I want to pick it up anyway because like I just collect you just play stuff anyway so I was gonna pick it up so these um, are the highlighters they came out with three of them um, the tri highlighter volume 1 volume 2 and volume 3 um, I will show you the guys really fast on camera so this is volume one. I love the packaging. It's always so pretty. This is pretty. This is probably going to be one of my favorite ones because it's like right up my shade range. It's kind of like almost like a bronzy kind of color. I really like the shade a lot. Um, volume one. And then we have volume two. It has like a little mirror too. Um, I like this one too. Oh, this might be a favorite. All of Juvia's play stuff be my favorite. So I don't even know why I even bother trying to like pick between them I believe the lighter one yeah this is the lightest one as well I would probably use this one as like either a brow bone highlight like how I I didn't use this one today but like to get that same effect or something but it's the lighter one nice cool one thing when it comes to Juvia's Place I feel like they're getting a little lackluster with the shipping because I live in Jersey um, and they ship from Jersey so honestly I feel like I should get my stuff literally like within a couple days um, I feel like the past two times that I've ordered from Juvia's Place it's been taking a really long time um, even and I usually always order on their peak site so I don't want people like well it was Black Friday so they got a lot of sales I've ordered when it was like a new release. I've ordered from them when it was like a slow time down. And I've always gotten my stuff within the week. I feel like the, these past two times, like when I when I ordered the Tribe Collection and when I ordered the Liquid Slipses, I felt like it took way too long. Um, which is not a big deal, but I, I just want to mention that it, it has been taking them a little bit longer these days. Than, and I've been ordering from Juvia's Place. Like one day I'll do a collection like I have all of their eyeshadow pads literally all of them um so i kind of know like how the shipping works i've ordered from them enough enough to know the time frame of when stuff is going to arrive so anyway i ordered the tripod oh this is such a pretty color like the lime green is already giving me like i need to do a makeup look with a lime green um love the packaging as always colors beautiful 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 just oh there are four mattes which um three are neon and then a nice transition color which they always have this seems like a, a kind of glittery shade um actually these two both seem like glittery shades oh there's one two three four i can't count five mattes so the three are the neon ones and then there's one here and one here um these two seem like more satiny shades and then these two seem more like glittery kind of shades because they seem like a little thicker in the pigment but I'll definitely do a video using this um, I do also want to do a palette collection not just on my Juvia's Place but just overall so I may have that video coming up soon I definitely 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 want to do a um, palette collection um, I've been seeing a lot of people do those videos and I love watching them so I want to do one because I have tons of palettes but I'm expecting four more in the mail from um, two companies so I'll probably do it when those come so I won't have to leave those out and then lastly from Juvia's Place and lastly for the haul altogether I picked up their some of their Empress uh, liquid lipstick so I picked up Yoko love the packaging super pretty so it comes with a matte shade and a shimmer shade um, I'm not gonna swatch them like I said I will leave a link to a video um, a youtuber that I watch and I think her name is Lisa um, and she swatched all of the collection so if you guys want to see these particular colors um, I'll link her video down below because um, I'm, I'm not I'm not doing that to my lips or just this video is already uh, it's already 20 minutes no so I picked up Yoku, which is kind of like a chocolatey reddish color. Um, and then we have Taytu. I hope I'm saying these names right. Um, I love the sleeves. I'm, <laughs> for this, I, I'm probably not going to keep the packaging, even though it's super nice. Um, with the eyeshadow palettes, it doesn't matter because it's the same um, 
artwork that's on here is on the actual palette itself but these are different but I just I don't like clutter I'm just not gonna do that and these are kind of like a really dark maroon shade this one I was actually pretty excited about because I haven't worn a color like this it's, it's literally like that um, it's a purple lipstick again a matte and a metallic these retail I believe for $18 or something like that they were on sale and I bought it but I believe originally they're like either 18 or $20 for both so they they don't sell like one metallic one matte individually it comes in a set so not bad at all and then lastly I picked up Madame which I kind of like how it does show the color here mm, it like makes you want to keep the packaging eh. sorry came out um, so it's kind of like that shade and it's a matte and a metallic um, of them I like that concept that they do come with both I've never tried metallic lipsticks um, liquid lipsticks but I'm definitely gonna try these out um, I don't I think I have like one Oh, I do have one. The one that I did in that video and I said I didn't like it because it made me look dead. And I think it was more of the shade, not so much the brand. Um, so I'm definitely interested in trying these because these are a little bit more like the color ranges that I would kind of wear anyway. So I'm definitely going to try these out. Um, I think that's it for the video. That's everything. I did everything in under 20 minutes. Yay! Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys like seeing haul videos. This is probably going to be one of my last haul videos for a while because I'm not going to be like, I don't really shop like that. But Black Friday and Cyber Monday, I do kind of stock up on makeup things that I've been eyeing. Um, and yeah, so that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will try to have a link for everything that I mentioned down in the description box as well as any coupon codes that I may have for any of the um, items that I mentioned. Um, the only coupon code that is actually directly for me that's like an affiliate link is the stuff from Moisture Love. So definitely if you guys purchase from Moisture Love, use my coupon code um, as well. Everything else, all the other coupon codes I post, they may just be like the ones that I use all the time, like from Morphe or Juvia's Place. I use like pretty much the same coupon codes, like from certain influencers. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you guys next time. Again, if you want to do want want to see this makeup look, then definitely, definitely check out that video. I will have that up soon if it's not up already. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.